it's too high. It actually violates zoning regulations. So I said, why don't you mind your own business, you old dried up bitch who asked you? <laughs> it's what I should have said. with the show. Really simple. It's just a bunch of funny people who are all telling true stories. Mr. Rob Corddry, everybody. Let him hear it. Rob Corddry. A couple years ago, my wife and I, we, we bought a house. My favorite feature was that lining the front of the property was a fence. This fence had a motor. Right? Yeah. This was a hot rod fence. And there was a button at the end of the driveway, and if you push that button, the gate in front of the driveway, it opens. And if you press that button again, it closes. <laughs> so I was outside one day at the end of my driveway, just hitting the button. <laughs> just passing the time, opening and closing my gate. When my next door neighbor, peeks over her fence. She says, hey, enjoying your fence, huh? You know, I, I told the former owner, that fence is over height. It's too high, it actually violates zoning regulations. So I said, why don't you mind your own business, you old dried up bitch who asked you? <laughs> it's what I should have said. That's what I should have said. Now, I didn't think much of it, and then about two weeks ago, I'm, I'm walking out my front door, maybe gonna squeeze in some mid-afternoon opening and closing of the gate. <laughs> and I see that my fence got a ticket. <laughs> That's right. Somebody from the zoning board, probably, uh, probably one of the zoning board cops, pulled over my hot rod fence and gave it a ticket. Now, I like to imagine when my fence was pulled over that it was like kind of a dick. <laughs> you know, that it was like all cocky, kind of belligerent. The zoning board guy pulled it over, he's like, walks up, zoning board cop's like, you know why I pulled you over today? <laughs> my fence is like, because you went to a state school, can't find a better job. <laughs> High fives the mailbox. <laughs> and so this is where, this is the point where my wife smashes into the story like some human-sized pitcher of Kool-Aid. And she's like, it was that coughing bitch next door who turned us in, quick sidebar. The woman next door, our neighbor in question, has emphysema. Ha 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 ha. Not cool. So I said uh, to my wife, like, what are we gonna do, confront her? I mean, she has emphysema. And my wife's like, oh, I'll give her emphysema. And I was like, no, 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 you don't have to. You know, she's got it. <laughs> she's got the thing. Uh, so, I mean, that was it. There was nothing we could do except tear the fence down. Um, that's right, I'm sorry, but about, about a month later, I'm at work and I get a call from my wife. Hey, hey, what's going on? Sorry to bug you at work. Just a quick question. How do you unsend an email? <laughs> and I was like, super easy. To unsend an email, all you do is live in 1994 <laughs> when we're all on dial up and that was even a remote possibility. Why do you want to unsend an email? And she's like, oh God, so today I got an email from our dying lady next door. And she's like, hey, keep an eye on the people that live behind you because they're doing some work on your retaining wall and it might affect the slope of your backyard. So my wife is saying, I forwarded that to you with a note that said, see, and I'm quoting my wife directly now. See, 
This proves that it was that know-it-all cunt <laughs> who turned us in for having an overhyped fence. And I was like, baby, I didn't get an email from you. And she was like, I know. Because instead of hitting forward, I hit reply. <laughs> so what do we do? It's super easy. All we have to do is move. And I was like, the only other thing we can do is kill her and make it look like emphysema. <laughs> so my wife, she walked next door and knocked on the door and apologized face to face. Yeah, high road. So I learned that day that that's what you do. You take the high road, you apologize to someone's face. And I also learned from my wife that when you do so, it'd be helpful to have your newborn baby in your arms as you do it. She's like, oh my God, I am so sorry. Can you please find it in your heart to, oh, did you hear that? Someone's got the hiccups. Thank you, everybody.